What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I have something really interesting for you guys today. Uh, basically, the last video I made was showcasing Rillaboom on Colossal, but I have a really fun team, because I think this is going to be the, the last video I make for um, the game prior to the Isle of Armor update, which is coming out in two days here. Because I, I, I probably just won't have time in the next couple days, but this is a really fun team showcasing Grassy Seed Toxapex. Uh, the entire point of it is you get in Rillaboom next to Toxapex, and Toxapex will get Grassy Seed up. Toxic Spikes is nice for allowing you to poison the other side of the field and wall it out with Toxapex, while also being able to spam Venom Drench to, I call it Super Snarl essentially. <laughs> You're able to lower their attack, special attack, and speed by one stage, and it actually hits both of the opponents, which makes it really, really strong. Uh, Arcanine is also a nice partner because I'm able to prevent status with Safeguard. Uh, Snarl, Heatwave, Will-O-Wisp is just nice on this. Togekiss, Babiri Berry, Yawn, Follow Me, Dazzling Gleam, Air Slash, Standardish set. Uh, we have some hyper offensive options here with Excadrill, uh, with Mold Breaker to help me deal with Rotom Wash, which is uh, one of the one of the more dangerous things for Toxapex. Like Excadrill is super nice for that, uh, and Rillaboom is also a nice uh, answer for that. Rillaboom is also super nice versus Lapras teams, and Toxapex hardwalls it. Dragapult is just for um, I think that's like the Drake Assault Wimscott matchup that's kind of difficult without Dragapult. Uh, so I ended up running that as my final Pokemon. But uh, I, you could also try out Tyranitar. The only reason I chose Dragapult over Tyranitar uh, is because yeah, otherwise we'd have just a huge ground weakness. We would have one, two, three, four ground weak Pokemon, which I didn't enjoy. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, just leave a like and subscribe for more Pokemon content. Let's try to shoot for 100 likes today. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm actually really excited for this Isle of Armor update. I want to try to get some content uh, on that as soon as possible, but my first summer calculus test is actually going to be the very next day after the update drops. So that's going to be a little bit annoying. So here we're facing super hyper offensive team. I'm thinking versus me, they feel comfortable with Durant. Uh, it looks like Toxpex is actually going to be amazing in this matchup though. I would say my best way of beating this is leading off Arcanine Togekiss though because it lets me one shot that uh lets me one shot that Durant with Heat Wave in case he decides to go for that I'll uh, be able to follow me away a hit and go for Heat Wave in the back Toxpex seems super nice and I think Rillaboom is a solid option too but uh Dragapult isn't looking amazing here uh yeah I'll go I'll go Rillaboom in the back or mm, is it do I go Excadrill Excadrill might be a solid option because I can deal with Rotom Heat a little bit better as well as the Togus. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go Excadrill. So no Rillaboom today. No Excadrill. Er, no, no Rillaboom. <laughs> All right. As they might be streaming right now. Twitch, Shiny VGC. So shout out to them, I guess. Shout out to them. Yeah, Rillaboom isn't ideal here. Like it loses to, uh, it loses to Dragapult in the case, in, in like the situation it's running Max Airstream. It loses to Togekiss. It loses to uh, Rotom Heat. So yeah, Excadrill is the ideal choice there. Alright, hopefully they go with the lead I'm hoping for. Whimsicott, Dragapult. Okay, so that's not ideal. Um, I'm thinking on this team, this is going to be a special Dragapult. So, um... And they might just straight up Dynamax. That might be an issue. I'm kind of tempted just to Dynamax my, uh, my Togekiss here and go for the KO. It feels about right. It, it really does. Uh, keeping Excadrill healthy is going to be important to this match. Let me try it. Uh, I'll go for this Heat Wave for damage on both, and I think my best play is uh, just to max Starfall, which this isn't an offensive Togekiss, but for this situation, it feels right to try to remove that thing. There's the Max Phantasm. I'm going to be able to take a few of those since I'm super defensive. And I actually land the burn on the Dragapult. Beautiful. Okay, I think we win. <laughs> Let me go with this Heat Wave and this Max Airstream now into the... Uh, into the Dragapult slot. He has weakness policy though, so that's going to be a really, really strong hit. I'm kind of hoping he's a special attacker, because then we're guaranteed to take that hit. But even if he is physical, uh, we did just kind of counteract that that weakness policy. And yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what set that is, but I'll be able to knock out both these Pokemon here with Max Airstream. And now my Arcanine is faster than that Durant, so. Um, Toxpex also hard walls it. Do I deal with Dracovish first? A little bit conflicted here. I mean, I'm faster than Durant with um, Togekiss. Here, here's what I'm. Here's what I see. Uh, I'm gonna lose my Arcanine here, I think. Or I could switch an Excadrill. 
perhaps. And I think I just max here, stream, yeah. We'll do this. Because I need another Intimidate, and then I think I'll be able to wall everything with my... Um... Ooh, is he... Yeah, the Tailwind. I completely forgot the Tailwind. I'm a moron. <laughs> I'll be able to wall everything with Tox Specs, though. So regardless of how this ends up working out. Um, GG. Yeah, regardless of how that ends up working out, if I get an Intimidate off, Tox Specs walls the Dracovish, and I just have to fish for Scald Burns. Of course, after the Misty Train runs out. So, let's move on with the next match. I got a little bit lucky there at the end with the Iron Head Miss, but... That's just the game you play when you run Durant and decide not to Dynamax. Kind of hoping I can actually bring Toxapex to this match. And this is a Toxapex match, uh, especially with that Umbreon on the field. Let's go ahead and lead off Toxapex, in fact. Uh, here I'll be able to probably run Toxapex in the lead with... I feel Arcanine isn't a bad choice, but I also feel Rillaboom's a solid option. Uh, I'll go Rillaboom. I'll go Rillaboom. Togekiss in the back isn't seeming too bad. But Arcanine is also very, very solid for snarling purposes. This is actually a really interesting matchup. Um, I feel like Excadrill is also super nice. We'll bring Ex uh, Excadrill for sure. And I'm kind of stuck between Togekiss and Arcanine. So let me think. So Arcanine will offer me a Will-O-Wisp on you. Snarls on a few Pokemon. Um, I check Excadrill if I manage to catch it with an Intimidate. And Togekiss is literally just good versus Dragapult, so Arcanine. <laughs> I mean, it's good versus this thing too, but I'm not concerned about um, Umbreon, especially if I'm going to be going for Toxic Spikes. Alright. Beautiful, beautiful. So what's going to happen here is Togekiss is either going to follow me or just go for Max Airstream. So what I'll go for here is a Toxic Spike, and it makes the most sense for him to want to go for follow me. So I'll U-turn out in this Togekiss and actually just switch in my, um, and actually just switch in the Arcanine, since I'm guaranteed faster. Let me U-turn out, switch in the Arcanine in what I assume is going to be a fairy move, and then I can start snarling. As he goes for max overgrowth. Yikes. Okay, I didn't like that at all. Uh, but I'll be able to recover here and snarl. Yeah, as long as he doesn't go for like air slash and flinches me. By the way, this uh this Toxapex is like EV to it's literally just like max quake at minus one. <laughs> I think that's what it is from like uh right here. Yeah, like Toxapex is like super bulky. In singles, it's like really, really terrifying, but in doubles, it's uh, not quite as reliable, sheerly because you're able to double into it and pick up KOs where it wants to recover. There's the Max Geyser, and now I'm not able to safeguard, which is a little bit problematic. Um, here, I'm willing to actually switch out my Tox Specs. It seems like they only have one physical attacker. Hmm. Do I do what I think I should do? I'll get an Excadrill. I kind of want to stay in because I'm really, really hard to kill after a max steel spike. I kind of want to do that. And all I need to do is take rid of, or is get rid of the Togekiss. I almost want to stay in. I might actually do that. That feels about right. So I'll take this final turn to... Um, Set up a second layer of spikes. And I'll go for a max deal spike into Togus. Because the second layer of spikes will mean that I'll be able to... <clears throat> my voice just cracked there. It's a little bit early. It's a little bit early. Uh, I'll be able to uh, stall out like Dragapult since I'm at like, plus, uh, plus two defense. Worst case scenario, I just switch out to recover my health. And I am focused as here, so I'll be able to take whatever he throws at me. So there's my plus two defense. This goes for the next geyser. I take the hit. If there's an Arcanine in the back, it could be an issue. But Sleepy Toxapex, not terrible. Not terrible. There's the Excadrill. Uh, Excadrill does have a high potential to speed tie with me. <laughs> it's pretty likely going to speed tie with me, especially with that Mold Breaker ability. I'll go ahead and I'll go for a Scald here as I go for a Max Quake as well into the Excadrill. The high horsepower, so I'll be able to take the hit, and I should just... Yeah, I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine. Is that minus one special attack? I'll keep going for recovers here as I fake out on the Excadrill for 
purposes. Because <laughs> I think that might KO. It's going to be close. It's resisted, of course. It's resisted, but I want to make sure Toxpex has a, an opportunity to wake up here. There's the Protect. Let's see if I wake up. Moonblast, not going to do much with that Assault Vest on me. Go for a Recover. I'm more concerned with that Excadrill than anything, so I'll go for a knockoff into that Excadrill. As he goes for an Iron Head, hopefully no flinches here. Moonblast is going to pick up the KO, and I manage to wake up and recover. So let's see what's in the back. I might be able to sell this out. It is the Arcanine, which is super, super nice. Um, what I'll do here is fish for Scalds on this Primarina, because I should be able to wall them out. Actually, I'll go for one Venom Drench beforehand. Flamethrower. Yeah, I don't think he'll be able to beat me. So let me fish for Scalds on this Primarina. He has to crit me to win. Or get enough special defense drops. Flamethrower. He's trying to go for burns here. Scald, I just need one burn and I'm secure to win in my opinion. Uh, I'm willing to risk another one. Every time I click Scald instead of recovering, I'm just concerned like this is the turn I get crit. This is the turn I get crit. Let me recover up. <clears throat> As he goes for Safeguard. Ooh, okay. So my main priority should 100% be that Arcanine for now. Uh, let me go ahead and Scald into the Arcanine and I just have to salt that Safeguard. Alright, beautiful. Uh, I have 13 recovers, <laughs> so he's got to get all the special defense drops. I just have to survive a few turns. Go for a Scald in that Primarina. Go for another Scald. So no special defense drops for him. I'm willing to risk another Scald. I just need that one burn and then we win. 30%. <sighs> Come on, 30%, man. 30%. We're running out. It's getting it's getting a little bit concerning. Scald burn. Come on, man. I just need that one. Neither of us are getting the 30%. <laughs> oh, there we go. GG, bro. Recover up for the rest of the game, and I should be fine. Scald for a little bit of damage here. Speed it up. Beautiful. So we managed to pick up that win. Jeez, that, that was a little bit nerve-wracking. That was a little bit nerve-wracking, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I definitely needed that Scald Burn to win. As soon as he revealed Safeguard, I'm like, ooh, that's a little bit annoying. <laughs> okay. Yeah, when I actually, like, me not message, when I posted on my community tab, like, hey, guys, I'm going to be using uh, Talk Specs in this next uh, video, a lot of people were like, are you playing singles? <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was that was a fun time. Let me think here. So it's gonna be. I haven't seen Lapras Cinderace, but that seems dirty, bro. Um, I could get spikes up immediately. Everything on this team is prone to being is prone to being poisoned. So let me let me go with like Toxapex and Arcanine, Rillaboom in the back, and if I can get those spikes up. If I get those spikes up and preserve the Rillaboom, I should be fine. Uh, I think my last mount's going to have to be Excadrill. Beautiful. Okay, so we'll go for a spike here. And I'll actually go for a Heat Wave. Hopefully it doesn't taunt. That'd be really, really annoying. But he was uh, he was 100% trying to call the Rillaboom on the lead. You can also beat up, which is slightly annoying. Because... Oh no, he can't beat up. Because he's Intimidate. As soon as I saw like Whimsicott... Arcanine, like, I, my, my thought process was like, oh my god, is he beat up? And then I'm like, oh, I'm at minus one. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Let me turn on the timer here. As he goes for the taunt, a little bit annoying. Perfectly fine, though. Uh, I should be able to get in... As he goes for Snarl, too. Um, let me go for... Let me think. Does he stay in? I don't think he stays in. He could try to get in something for... He could try to get in something for that Whimsicott this turn. I don't want to get in Rillaboom. Tech move. All right, all right. Let me see. Um, 
Let me get in Rillaboom here go for another Heat Wave. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, am I faster than him with my Snarls? My Snarl will be faster than him, and he is at minus one, so Rillaboom should be able to take the hit. I might even just U-turn uh, and get back in Toxapex and go for a burn on that Mudsteel. I'll do that. I'll U-turn on the uh, on this boy. Or no, I'll just hard switch. Go for a Will-O-Wisp. Beautiful. As he goes for his Will-O-Wisp, hopefully I land mine. Nice. Gets that up. Go for the spike. And uh, yeah, I feel pretty safe. I, pre I feel pretty secure with what's been going on here. Uh, I should be able to get in Rillaboom here. Go for another Intimidate. Like he's gonna Snarl if anything, right? It's not like he can knock me out with Mudsteel now. And he ends up getting slowly chipped away. There's the Snarl. This goes for Max Steel Spike. Get in my Arcanine again. Go for a Scald on that. Uh, I'm concerned about weakness policy on this thing, so I don't want to hit it. In fact, let me knock off. Er, mm, I'll get an Arcanine again. Make it easier for Toxpex to survive all these hits. Yeah, beautiful. Let me... You think he's going to make the call now? I think, if anything, this is the turn he makes that call. Uh, I'll just Scald for damage on this thing. Go for a Heat Wave. Try to catch him on, like, a, a Prediction. Yeah, nice. So I'm able to remove that, and now I can actually show him my tech. I want to show him this move, so he's not thinking I'm just some dude that doesn't understand that hazards aren't amazing in BGC. Come on, switch in something so I can start going for my uh, <laughs> for my Venom Drench. Beautiful. I want to show him Venom Drench now. Let me go for this Venom Drench. Uh, I'll actually... He's going to Snarl, if anything. I'll be able to get in Rillaboom here. Body press. Ooh, that did a lot. Okay. That did a lot. Um, I mean, Mudsdale ends up losing to uh, Toxpex anyway, so I'll just go ahead and go for a... Do I Venom Drench again? I'll Venom Drench again, just for the sake of flexing, I guess. Get in the Arcanine. Intimidate. Just the Body Press. Live the hit. Get in the Excadrill. And now, um, I think my play is Scald on you and Protect. Yeah. I'll just hard protect here. Yeah, beautiful. And I'll be able to Venom Drench that Cinderace. Go for this Venom Drench. Yeah, I just have to get it to like Mudsdale V. If I can get it to Mudsdale V Toxpex, I win, which is nice. So let me Venom Drench that thing. And I'll actually just Dynamax here and go for a. Uh... It's gonna be faster. Probably go for a Fire Move, anyways, though. Regardless, Max Quake's my best play. Alright, that's fine. And now Toxpex is like unkillable. Because I can Venom Drench that thing and it's poisoned. Go for this Venom Drench. Let me get some damage on that Mudsdale. Is that my play, though? Um, It'll be easier to beat Mudsdale. Yeah, I'll just Max Quake. I, I almost went for something else. Alright. I think I can still win. I need to go for a recovery here. And if he bounced... That's to catch the Rillaboom, so the most damage I'm going to get is Fake Out on this Mudsteel. But I think I win. His bounce is going to... Oh, he bounced into Toxpex. I actually could have gotten mad damage on that Mudsteel. Beautiful. I'll Venom Drench up. Go for a Wood Hammer on the Mudsteel.
Power Ball, perfectly fine. Venom Drench is doing its thing. Go for a recover. I'm scared of that thing's weakness policy. I'm not touching it with the Scald. I'm not touching that thing with the Scald. There's a Sucker Punch. Nah. Nah, man. Body Press is doing a little bit. Not that it'd be able to, like, knock me out, but he would have more of an incentive to hit me. Let me go for a recover. Beautiful. All right. Um, I'll recover here. Because that just seems safe. All right. Now I'm going to go for Scalds. Because uh, with the damage, I can afford to. Yeah, even if he's doing, like, double damage there, I'm fine. All right. Beautiful. GG. called beautiful all right so yeah tox is doing some work today tox is doing some work all right let me get one more game today because tox games last quite a while we're already 20 minutes into this video <sighs> okay all right hopefully we get a nice match here everything here is venom drenchable beautiful let me lead off with rillaboom <laughs> let me read off or actually no let me think uh rillaboom tox do i want to do that i think i because I definitely want the spikes up. The spikes are so amazing in this matchup. And I can maybe go for a fake out. I think Rillaboom Arcanine. No, no, Rillaboom Tox Effects. I can't afford to uh, have him lead my low tick versus me. Arcanine in the backs can be really important. And I think this is an Excadrill game again. Alright, yeah. So I should go for a fake out here. And I'm going to go for a spike. Hopefully... He goes for Tailwind or something. <laughs> He's going to taunt, though. He's going to taunt, or he might switch out. There's no reason for me not to attempt a spike here, in my opinion. It just makes the most sense. Worst case scenario, I just switch in Arcanine next turn, and I'm fine. He could even just go for damage on Rillaboom. Like, I don't think he's concerned with Tox Specs, barring just going for, like, uh, Wood Hammer. There's the taunt. Perfectly fine. Let me go for U-turn damage on this Rillaboom and switch in Arcanine. This is going to Wood Hammer, for sure. And Arcanine does mad work to his team. He could even try to make a call here, like switching in Milotic. I'm kind of I'm kind of concerned because if he switches in Milotic for either of his Pokemon right now, that's a god play. No, there's the Incineroar. That's fine. Arcanine comes in, get a U-turn off on that thing, not taking too much because that Assault Vest we got going on. And this seems like a good time to Dynamax. It seems like a relatively good time to Dynamax. Uh, I'll be able to remove that Whimsicott, and then... Yeah, if I remove Whimsicott, I'm actually in a really good spot. So I'll, I'll go ahead and Max Deal Spike Heat Wave, because like, this game is won by Tox Specs if I get a Spike Up. If I get that Spike Up, Tox Specs wins. I'm hoping his last Pokemon is... Um... Not Milotic. <laughs> I mean, he definitely has Milotic, I think. But if it were like Mimikyu or Cinderace, I'd probably win. There's the Tailwind. This goes to the Parting Shot. I don't mind. This is more about removing Whimsicott than it is about, um, like, much more than that. <laughs> but, uh, than it is about anything else, really. And we get to see his last Pokemon, because I don't think Rillaboom wants to come in. Yeah, there's the Milotic, which is really nice. Remove you, and we get the burn of the Milotic. That actually isn't ideal, because it's a lot harder to KO Milotic with burn than it is with poison. But I think I still stalled out with uh, with my boy in the end game. There's the Incineroar. I think here, um, it's in my best interest to. Hmm. I mean, he's going to Dynamax Milotic in this match, I think. So if Milotic is Dynamaxing here, he's going to go for Fake Out into the Arcanine and and Max Geyser into Excadrill. So I'll take this opportunity to uh, probably get in Rillaboom and Max Quake for damage on that thing. Or do I just Preserve and switch in Rillaboom safely? I don't know. This is a tough one. If I get in Rillaboom for Excadrill, he's going to take a bit of damage. 
and then I could just switch in Excadrill again on the following turn to take a hit. Or no, because he's going to go for a fire move. I have to kind of dance around this top, or this Milo tick until Tailwind runs out. So I'll switch in Rillaboom here, and I'll switch in Tox Specs. It seems to be my best defensive play. Just let the let me lose my Dynamax early. There's the Fake Out. The Max Geyser. Not doing too much. Here, I'm assuming he's going to go for an Ice move. Yeah, he's probably going to go for an Ice move. Um, I'll get I'll get my Spike up here. I think here's a good time to get my Spike up. Because I don't want to switch in Arcanine. And I still have Sash on the Excadrill, so... Spike up. It'll help me stall at Rillaboom in the endgame. Because I need to keep Rillaboom to beat this Milo tick. I turn on this timer, too. Yeah, defensive... Defensive tox specs. I mean, all tox specs are pretty much defensive, but like this set in particular is super, super fun because if you get that spike up and you start venom drenching away at a team, it's so good. The only thing is you should never venom drench on a on a Milo tick. That's the one caveat there. This goes for the throat chop. Not quite enough for a KO. I'll be able to get in Rillaboom again here. It's my only good switch in. And I think I should just go for a second spike. Or maybe I just let Excadrill go down. Rillaboom's much more important to winning the game. So I'll go for a high horsepower on Incineroar and another spike. Yeah, Rillaboom's much more important to winning. And the, eventually this Milo tick has to switch out. Or not Milo tick, eventually has to switch into something else and it's gonna get poisoned. There it is. Yeah. Go for the parting shot. Rillaboom is about to get poisoned, which is really, really nice. I'm able to get in my own Rillaboom here. And... I think here I go for Fake Out. And phew, this is a tough one, because I don't want to get in my, uh, my Arcanine. Actually, no, I do. I go for Fake Out into this Milotic, and I switch in my Arcanine, because then I am able to knock out this... Um, this Milo take next turn with Woodhammer. So even though I'm going to give it plus two, I'm fine. If, if I remove Milo tick, I win. I think. I have to, if I remove everything from the side of the field, I win. That's just Pokemon, though. <laughs> There's the competitive boost. I'll be able to fake out here. Drum beating. It goes into the Arcanine, which is concerning. Concerning, to be honest. Because he could drum beating into my Rillaboom and outspeed me next turn. But I don't think he's running Protect, so I'll Woodhammer. Yeah, I don't think he's got Protect. Woodhammer seems to be my best play, and I can go for a Heat Wave. And there's no way he lives a Woodhammer. Beautiful! I think I win. Yeah, there it is. This goes for the High Horsepower, too. Not doing much. And he's gonna get poisoned to death. I think here, it's in my best interest to uh, try to U-turn on this Incineroar and switch in my Tox Specs, because he's not going to go for a Woodhammer into Arcanine. He's going to go for a uh, High Horsepower, and I'll be able to take it, and by U-turning out here, I'll be able to uh, get another Intimidate. Beautiful. I just win now. I can Venom Drench up. Go for this Heat Wave, switch in the Rillaboom again. This is such a fire team. This is such a fire team. I love Toxapex now. Like, playing defensively in singles feels garbage. Like, you feel like a piece of... I can't say uh, swear words or I'll get demonetized. You feel like a piece of... Uh, we'll, we'll call it Milotic, because Milotic is the equivalent to that in this game. Well, You feel like a Milotic, man. Uh, but <laughs> when, you, when you play defensively in doubles, it just feels so satisfying. Like, you're just outplaying your opponent every turn. There we go. You're going down next turn, man. There's a knockoff. Whatever, I don't need that berry, dude. You lose. You lose, sir. Good game. I fake out into your Rillaboom and I heat wave. I fake out into the Rillaboom. And then Incineroar loses to uh, Toxpex. Because I just recover over and over and over again. You lose, sir. Good day. Good day, sir. <laughs> I forgot. Did he say GL? He did not, so I can be mean. <laughs> I didn't say it either, though. 
I didn't say it either, so I can't. I just want to show the tech here. Let me go for this heat wave. Let me go for this venom drench. I just want to show him the tech. Let him know that the game was rigged from the start, man. When you click that venom drench in the end game, it's like, hey, dude, the game was rigged from the start. You you never could have won. There it is. Check it. He's gonna be like, there's a chance. There's a chance. There's a chance. There's no chance. <laughs> We go for this Venom Drench again just for the flex because he dies next turn. That toxic damage. GG. Well played. Beautiful. Imagine being slower than a Toxpex. Dude, that, that's some clean that's some clean stuff that you can pull off a Toxpex, man. Alright, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, should leave a like, subscribe for more Pokemon content. Started on my words there. Turn on that notification bell, guys. Turn on that notification bell so you know whenever I upload. It really helps me grow the channel. And also, we got some new merch coming out next... Not next Wednesday. This Wednesday, when the DLC drops, I got some new merch for you guys. That's actually a really clean t-shirt designed by, by my buddy AtrixMJ on Twitter and on YouTube. But yeah, I'll see you guys then. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice night, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.